Good morning, everyone. I'm William. And I am Farisha. And we are your MCs for today. The ceremony will commence shortly. Before we begin, there are a few important announcements for all graduates to take note during the ceremony. Firstly, may I request you to switch off your mobile phones or set them to silent mode. Please take note of the following very important points I'm about to mention. You have been assigned a unique seat number at a specific color zone. Refrain from swapping seats as it will disrupt the order of the certificate collection process. As a matter of courtesy and respect, please do not talk loudly or move about upon ceremony commencement. Our photographers will be taking photos at this event. The photos may be used in various communication platforms, including, but not limited to, publications, ITE website, corporate newsletter, and Facebook page. You would have received two cards at registration. Please bring them along when asked to go on stage. Do take note that you will be receiving an empty certificate folder on stage. You will collect your certificate immediately near the entrance of this auditorium. A complimentary photograph will be available for download a day after the ceremony. The link will be sent to your email account. Ladies and gentlemen, please put your hands together to welcome our guest of honour, Mr. Chalapa Panika, President, Rotary Club of Singapore North. Principal, Mr. Suresh Natarajan. Deputy Principal, Mr. Chong Leong Fat. Director, Ms. Tam Mei Leng, and academic leaders from the School of Business and Services. Guest of Honour, Mr. Chalapa Panika, President, Rotary Club of Singapore North, Mr. Suresh, Principal, IT College Central, distinguished guests and graduates, a very good morning to everyone. I am William. And I am Farisha. And we are your Masters of Ceremony for today. Welcome to the ITE College Central Graduation Ceremony for the Class of December 2022. Today is a special day. It's a day to celebrate the success for, of our graduates in a special year. 2023 marks the 10th anniversary of ITE College Central being on this site. While we are proud of, our, of the fantastic com campus and our impact to the Angmokyo community, our greatest pride and joy have always been about the graduates who have put in their heart and soul in their hands-on, minds-on, and hearts-on education in ITE. To start the morning's ceremony, we would like to present to you the heart and soul of ITE.
It is now my pleasure to invite Mr. Suresh Natarajan, Principal of ITE College Central, to address us. Mr. Suresh, please. Mr. Chalapa Panikar, President Rotary, Staff and graduates, ladies and gentlemen, a very good morning and a warm welcome to all of you. Welcome to the IT College Central graduation ceremony for 2023. My heartiest congratulations to all graduates and award winners. This year, we celebrate the 10th anniversary of IT College Central being on this campus here in Ang Mo Kio. The past decade, has been marked by many milestones of achievement from both our staff and students. With exciting growth and thriving development, even in the most trying of times like the recent pandemic, the college has been an incredible environment where many students have acquired skills, made wonderful friends, and built a strong foundation for a bright future ahead. And so, it is a momentous week for all of us as we witness some 2,800 IT College Central graduates who will be receiving their NITEC certificates. And out of these, 33 graduates will be presented with course medals for outstanding performance in their respective courses. Today is an important milestone in all of your lives. And we are here to celebrate and witness the fruits of your labor. The unprecedented and challenging past two years have made this graduation even more special. And we are proud of how you have worked, progressed, persevered, and succeeded. At the same time, we must not forget those who have supported you. So we need to appreciate and thank those folks and this journey, which has been most important for all of you. These include your family members, your class advisors, lecturers and mentors, your classmates and friends. Your graduation today is the best present that you can give to all of them. Looking back, IT College Central has provided many opportunities to develop you holistically. Through the rigorous training, real-world opportunities, the industry attachments, community service projects, and enrichment activities, we have equipped you with the skills, knowledge, and values to be ready for the workforce. A 15-member team led by Celeste Lim Tong Un from the NITEC in Business Services embarked on a six-month project for Junior Achievements Company of the Year, or COTY, in June 2021. Students named the company 15 Icons, where they mimicked how companies facilitate key leadership roles and produced a real product called Eccentricy. It is a toiletries kit made of sustainable and eco-friendly materials from upcycled fabrics collected from their friends, family, and classmates. They leveraged on social media followers for greater outreach and partnership. 
Their significant partner is with the social enterprise, Cape of Colours, where they donated 40% of their profits to support the less privileged students. With such an impressive project, the team breezed through the finals of the Junior Achievement Koti National Competition in January 2022 and clinched the second runner-up award, beating other tertiary institutions, such as junior colleges, polytechnics, and international schools. Well done, team. In College Central, the Enhanced Internship Program provides our students with opportunities to learn in real work environments and help them better transit into the workplace after their graduation. Last year, over 400 graduates and 10 staff from NITEC and Business Services brought vibrancy and increased the footfall to the Heartland Malls at Woodlands North Plaza and North Shore Plaza, creating more business opportunities for the tenants. How did they do this? This was a collaboration with HDB, which offered an authentic learning environment where our students were able to apply the skills and knowledge acquired in their two-year training encompassing social media marketing, event planning, customer service, communication, presentation, and teamwork. 2022 was the eighth year that HDB has engaged our students, and I'm sure with the resounding success of the event, we will see many more happy years of collaboration ahead. Graduation marks the beginning of the next phase of your journey in life. What do you do next? Many things are uncertain except for one, that is change. The COVID-19 pandemic has changed many things about the way we communicate and collaborate. During the pandemic, many businesses chose to shift to work from home models to keep employees safe while trying to normalize business services. The virtual format has become the norm for many businesses. And not everyone expects to go back to a traditional office environment as pandemic concerns wane. Maintaining good collaboration and communication is key to the future of working, whether it's in a physical or a virtual environment. At ITE, we also adapted to these new challenges quickly. The class of December 2022 will be remembered for embracing new ways of collaborating and communicating. Home-based learning was indeed a new normal, while we eased up things in your last semester. And so it is important that whatever the challenge, whatever the circumstances, we encourage you to continue to keep up with the change. Be bold, be brave, be relevant, and just keep learning. In April 2018, IT launched a new and special diploma program called the Work Study Diploma. This is an apprenticeship-based training program in partnership with key industry employers targeted at IT graduates. Under this program, you will receive structured technical training, practical industry experience, as well as a salary. You get a fully sponsored diploma upon completion and are paid concurrently by the company. ITE has since launched a total of 40 work-study diplomas in three industry sectors that you can choose from based on your interests and career goals. This is also where you can continue to hone and master your skills. Now that you have graduated from your NITEC course, you may want to consider taking up this work-study diploma. While some of you prefer to further your studies, some may choose to join the workforce. Whatever your choice is, have a lifelong learning and positive mindset. Don't stop learning, just keep on acquiring new skills and knowledge. Ishireen Kushirina Binte Abdullah from NITEC and Business Administration has a strong interest in pursuing a career in the retail industry. Hence, she enrolled in the work-study diploma in e-commerce and retail last year. A big part of the course is being employed by a company, and she was hired by Uniqlo, a brand quite familiar with most of you. 
and she was a retail assistant handling store operations and customer service. She was promoted to be a team leader after merely a year on the job with her right skill sets, attitude and commitment. The wider scope of responsibilities includes training of new staff, handling store operations and designing the facade of the shop to attract customers and increase sales eventually. Despite juggling between her shift hours for work and the course, she remains motivated and committed to completing the diploma qualification because she sees it as an opportunity to progress and to advance her career. She has been grateful for such a progression opportunity at ITE as it provides alternative pathways for students with strong emphasis and exposure at the workplace to acquire relevant and sought after skills by industry. At IT College Central, many of you have had the opportunity to serve and care for the community through outreach programs or sustainability efforts. Similar to caring for the community, caring for our environment is gaining a lot of attention these days. And it is also important to ITE in line with the National Sustainability Agenda under the Singapore Green Plan 2030, Lingesh son of Sachivanandam and To Jiaying from the NITEC and Business Administration course led a team at the School Sustainability Challenge 2022, which was organized by Junior Achievement and supported by ABV Operation Singapore. The competition encourages students to think of creative and problem-solving ideas around sustainability that can be applied to the manufacturing and pharmaceutical industries in Singapore. The team came up with a solution to replace the huge wastage of single-use plastic dental flossers, which affects 1.6 million users of such products in Singapore and 2.7 billion people worldwide. With the huge impact and benefit to the environment, the team won both the first runner-up and best pitch team at the national level. The success story didn't end there because Lingesh went on to start a company selling the sustainable and authentic dental floors. And through the help of staff at Makerspace at ITE Central, he redesigned the product, yielding good sales since its launch. We can't wait to see more development to Lingesh's journey as a budding entrepreneur. Well done. As you spread your wings and experience greater things ahead, there's nothing more rewarding than giving back and making a difference in the lives of people in our college. And we warmly welcome all of you to return, to visit your lecturers, enjoy the facilities, and contribute back to help other students or the community at large. Stay connected to ITE and College Central by joining the IT Alumni Association. In closing, ITE has equipped you with the necessary skills, knowledge, and values. Continue to pursue your passions and inspire the people around you and the society at large. Go forth and be the epitome of excellence and agents of change and service. Once again, congratulations to all graduates on your achievements. May you find success and happiness in everything that you do. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Suresh. And now, we would like to present a short video put together by the School of Business and Services. Please sit back and enjoy. Congratulations to all graduates on your special day. Let's visit this journey and highlights in school. Starting 
Grade school was a nerve-wracking experience as I had to leave my comfort zone and meet new classmates in a new environment. I am glad the orientation program helps to reduce my anxiety and sooner than I realized, I am getting along well with everyone. I would say every moment with them is a memorable one for me. One of the things I enjoyed in school was the sports and wellness and lessons where we get to play different types of games. The most enjoyable part about learning, I would say, is being able to work with my close friends that I grew with over the past two years in ITE. I was being recognised by ITE for my excellent academic results and CCA contribution via the Director List, Eagles Award and Service Excellent Goal Award. With the help of my class advisor and the school student development, we were provided enrichment programs and class bonding events such as Art Jamming, Grow Your Own Green, Virtual Enrichment Program, GEP to Korea and Germany. In ITE, students are exposed to global education programs to countries such as Korea, Taiwan, Cambodia and Germany in both virtual and physical means. Students take on worldly issues and solve them creatively. Over at School of Business and Services, one of the modules that we teach is social media marketing. The students were able to leverage on TikTok to implement content strategies to market their products for the Junior Achievements Company of the Year competition. I was given the opportunity to participate in Junior Achievements Company of the Year competition. I was the Vice President in Public Relations in our newly set up company called 15 Icons. In a span of over six months, we created our very own sustainable product, marketed it with creative TikTok content and sell it. The program culminated in national finals where we had to present our product along with other tertiary institutions. We were almost in tears when our team was announced the second runner-up at the end of the competition. Besides going for lessons and learning the floral techniques, we get the opportunity to create a bouquet of vegetables harvested from IT's hydroponics farming for Dr. Amy Kaur during a campus visit and student dialogue session. It has been a joy to see the students grow. From the time they came to ITE, they have become very accomplished. Organizing large-scale events such as the learning project, the ITE collaborated with the Housing and Development Board. This event was held in North Shore Plaza, where business services students run the event with many fun activities and performance in view of marketing the mall. My team and I were ecstatic to see our project proposal come to life when there were many groups of families coming to our booth to participate and their feedback was full of praise. Apart from these achievements, our graduates took time to pursue their interests and give back to the community. I joined Urban Central Statements as I love to dance. Dancing to me is a form of release. Every session is a breather for me as it allowed me to relax and clear my mind. I learned to collaborate with other students from different courses and it made me more self-aware while growing as an individual. As I was in the flourishing course, I was automatically enrolled in the flourishing club and in my second year, I was selected to teach students from different courses that were interested in flourishing. I volunteered my service at the Labor Day Hari Raya Istana Open House. I was able to apply my communication skills and engage with the visitors at the open house. Community Outreach Program gave me the happiness as I saw it as a means to make others happy. The smile on the faces of elderly and the children made it all worthwhile. Students were exposed to industry attachments. Let's hear about their experiences. Through the modules, IT has imparted life skills for us to apply in the real world. I was attached to Pet Lover Centre during my industrial attachment. Besides working at their retail outlet, I had the opportunity to work on their online order management system at the head office. During my time at NITEC in floristry, I was attached to Botany Studio as a floral assistant. I enjoyed learning more about flowers and applying new techniques on floral arrangements. I can see Janice gaining confidence in interacting with customers as she is now able to answer the questions asked by the customers independently and assisting them throughout the workshops. Through creating an open, safe and positive environment, we are able to bring out the best of our students where they are able to express themselves and learn. We often share with them our industry experience to prepare them and encourage them to take on challenges. For my industrial attachment, I was attached to Anytime Fitness Sambuang as a brand ambassador. Having an industrial attachment as part of my curriculum is important because that's where our skills and knowledge are put to test. 
At Anytime Fitness, we provide the platform for our staff to grow and Santosh's curriculum at ITE has equipped him with the necessary skill sets to excel in the duties that were assigned to him. ITE provides me excellent foundation for pursuing higher education and career. I look forward to an exciting journey ahead. To all the graduates, all the best, have a growth mindset and you'll go far in life. Let's keep persevering through any challenges facing our way because in every tunnel, there's light. Failure is not fatal, it's the courage to continue that counts. To my fellow graduates, never justify your failure as the end of the road to your success. You will always encounter problems in life, but don't forget, there are options and solutions. Be proud of yourself for making it this far. Work hard and stay humble. Prioritize your happiness in the long run and always think of delayed gratification. Congratulations on graduating and here's to your next adventure. I am very pleased to see many of the graduates taking on multiple responsibility in the course of their NITEC educations. They have grown from being quiet and reserved to being more outspoken and vocal. I believe success will find its way to them. We hope you have enjoyed the school video. We will begin the presentation of certificates to our graduates for the following courses from the School of Business and Services. NITEC in Business Administration, NITEC in Business Services. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Ms. Tam Mei Leng, Director, School of Business and Services, on stage to present the certificates to our graduates. Ms. Tam. Please. Chinapandi Ratishka. Pan Jin Yen. Hasmitra Raj Kumar. Suan Ning, Valerie. Anis Kistina Binti Muhammad Iskandar. Nor Pramata Sari Binti Nasharuddin. Xiang Rong Shalin Ng Xuan Ning Karen Ang Wei Xuan Harold Tan Jin Long Go Jue Rei Felin Chen Nor Alicia Edliana Edliani Binti Nazli Alicia Hana Muhammad Nazri Nor Dini, Nor Dina, Christina Binti Abmaludu. Bong Ray En. Xia Jie Ling. Kathleen Cheng Kai Ling.
Nor Iza Atira Benti Alwi. Nor Hidaya Binti Zainal. Ang Ying Ting. Chai Kyo Hui Sin. Siti Norjana Binti Jasman. Rabiatul Adwia Binti Zairi. Ang Yi Xuan. Muhammad Ashraf bin Razali. Para Iliana Binti Ramdu Dao. Piedra Sim. Salim Ang Chi Xian Nurin Akila binti Muhammad Shahrum Ryan Pua Fu Yi Sharon Lai Su Ting Owen Ong Shao Jie Jacob Nor Anisa Binti Jahaya Angel Fu Yi Ting Chua Boon Jin Lester Lo Jun Xiang Po Jia Ying Ansley Makiho Yamada Ong Ye Kai Jaslyn Kaur Leong Ling Yen Nor Aisha binti Muhammad Yazid Jia Yu Ching Michaela Andrea Keldron Bangsangi Noor Shari Noor Sharafina Binti Rosman Lim Xing Hui Karunisa Sufi Parmasti Crystal Karishma Krishna Naidu Samantha Yoshen Yongshen Ru Sue 
Sonefa Farzana binti Harun. Ng Wei Yen Selin. Abdul Hamairi bin Azhar. Kwok Ke Ying. Muhammad Shafiru bin Muhammad Nasir. Chong Yi Ting Shamin. Wu Shi Ting Serin. No Shabrina Shakira binti Muhammad Aizaru. Jolin Chiang Sun Yok. Ko Jia Hui. Nurin Naishira binti Muhammad Nasir. Joshua Paul, Ng Jin Ting Jenny, Ng Xuan Ting Kalista, Alfia, Lim Hao Kiet, Terry Siti Arafa binti Muhammad Suandi Grace Ong Chien Chien Gu Ching Yue Nor Iliana binti Muhammad Said Nor Iqbal oh sorry Muhammad Iqbal binti Muhammad Rafi Jasper Pang, Jane Neo Siu Ping, Muhammad Amiruddin bin Muhammad Yazid, Josiah Riz Palicia, Noor Ashura binti Muhammad Manaf, Muhammad Aizroy bin Kamaruddin. Norliana binti Muhammad Salim. Michelle Ling Wei Zhen. Adam Nokhalis bin Noramin. Nina Natasha binti Hamidi. Nadratul Umaya binti Kamal Rudin. Cruz Abigail Aquino. Sujita, daughter of Siva Balan. Mo Su Hui, Malaysia. Kistina Akila binti Muhammad, sorry, binti Abdul Rahim. Colin Chun Li Ying. No Shakina binti A.B. Halim. Noor Shaz 
Shaznira Binti Surman. Terry bin Imran. Yo Chin Ru Shelley. Norina Iliana binti Muhammad Rosaini. Muhammad Akil bin Muhammad Saiful Anwar. Xia Ming Yang Nicholas. Nor Ashura binti Abdul Halim. Ezrin Nor Sulastri binti Asri. Muhammad Akif bin Muhammad Sufyan. Chloe Tan Zi Ling. Rachel Shok Jin B. Shivani Nagiswari Naidu, daughter of Siva Kuma. Danny Daniel bin Muhammad Azmi. Nojawi bin Norazaman. Muhammad Akesh, son of Muhammad Yusuf Ram Nawal. Nyo Aina. Nor Ashima Salipacha. Sim Sing Yu Kalin. Ryan Ko Jin Ming. Nashifa Raina binti Muhammad Mukna. Gan Jing Han Isan. Gui Jing Yi Janelle. Kuraini, Shifa, Kuraini Shafila binti Muhammad Amir. Eva Elisha binti Muhammad Ruhaizad. Soida Amisha, daughter of Soed Faisal Ahmad Pavel. Tan Li Xuan, Juliana. Justin Chang Zi Xuan. Yap Wen Tao Jaden. Dexter Chang Yong Jun. Lim Zi Jie. Basanti, daughter of Raja. Edmund Lau Po Jun Ang Wei Ling Jamin Zender Ng Yu Zhe Gayatri, daughter of Sashi Kumar Putri Lydia Hemamalini Binti Nenari
Haja Christina binti Muhammad Simon. Lionel Gao Jin Hao. Muhammad Afik bin Abdurrahman. Nor Kairiani binti Zukifli. Nadia Elena binti Osman. Nazwa Nazifa binti Yusri. Auni Sofina binti Muhammad Raz Sazali. Eliza Ting. Elisa binti Jerry Boy. Marcia Sabina binti Muhammad Hardy. Rifa Farzana binti Muhammad Firhan. Nur Lizdawati Azian binti Muhammad Nur. Nur Ayuni binti Muhammad Herfi. Nur Shara binti Sufri. Solis Martiza Luis Quinto. Nor Raihan binti Abdullah. Siti Aisha binti Shahrum. Aishwarya Rao, daughter of Bengadis Rao. Siti Noralia Arina binti Muhammad Taha. Valencia Ng Wei Ning. Muhammad Nur Adam bin Muhammad Faisal. Nur Atika binti Imyati. Liu Wei Rong. Alimatul Adawiya binti Abdul Rashid. Muhammad Alfian bin Muhammad Isa. Nur Nurul Shakira binti Muhammad Nur Hisham. Siti Nur Shahira binti Am Alud Alauddin Shah. Nur Shafika binti Muhammad Isham. Muhammad Hazik Amsha bin Herman. Nor Luisa binti Othman. Nor Felicia binti Muhammad Shukairi. Lo Li Tong Destiny. Nor Hidaya binti Muhammad Norizam. Dylan Tu Zi Jin. Brindiana Fazira binti Rosli. Diana Anisha binti Zukifli. Neli Shakira binti Nofendi. Jared Lee Yongjie. Jin Go Zhen Wei. Tiu Yi Ting. Nor Liana Fitra Ridwan.
，罗云选。Pereira Chrislyn Rose, Muhammad Hazri bin Muhammad Jufri, Nor Umaira binti Muhammad Kamaruddin, Ko Wan Ning Amberlin, Chua Chi Chi Tiflin. K. R. Tanisha, Dani Hazwan bin Kasmil Reda, Oi Wen E, Teng Ray E, Sun Kong Yu, Elton Li Wei Chi. Janice Ang Kiet E, Sebastian Titus V, Rahul Bahadru Singh, son of Lal Bahadru Singh, Siti Nor Alia binti Juraimi, To Wen Chi Kelly, Tio En Chi Shannon. Diana binti Abdul Rahman, Nor Ashikin binti Habib, Nor Shaza Erika binti Muhammad Hazrik, Hermin Go Shu Xian, Zhuang Wan Qian, Giselle Lau. Muhammad Heidi Iqmal, Lim Chong Hao, Kwang Jing Wei Kevin, Nor Diana Binti Omar, Shalindria Shakina, Nor Liana Kasrina Binti Musa. Nor Shakina binti Kamsani. Ho Zheng Ying Michelle. Zhen Eng Keng Zhen. Leroy Hao Zhong Yi. Lu Xing Yi Chloe. Genevieve Sim Hong Xiu. Nor Fai, Nor Faika, Diana binti Herman. So Ying Jie, Phoebe. Hao Jia Jun, Brian. Wang Xian Bing, Alan. Sharon Peng Li Xin. Long Yi Hao. Iqmal bin Hasri, Jaden E. E. Hao, Nurul Shafika binti Irwan Shah, Sri Neli binti Herman, Jamie Choi Jie Fang, Shaista Shafia binti Muhammad Ali. Liu 
精通 Kalista。Asmudi bin Ahmad, Serin Lo Jia En, Ruth, daughter of Joshua, Ong Hao Ren, Catalosh, Alicia Joyce Sanwan. Elizabeth Magdalene Collar, Liang Jiaxuan, Chao Shi En, Tiong Jingxuan, Zurian No Shafika Binti Samsuladi. Nurul Atasha binti Muhammad Anis. Kavinish, son of Murugan. Venice Tong Yi Ying, Le Yi En Janice, Tan Ming Li, Ko Wei Feng Hayden, Nurul Darwisha Binti Afandi. Putri Nol Ferli Na Binti Abdul Manap. Tan Jin Chuan Eden. Shanti, daughter of Ilan Govan. Alzina Fatima, daughter of Muhammad Absal. Rishal Ko Hui Sing. Lim Hui Shan. Muhammad Amirul Hakim bin Muhammad Saad. Ashley Ko Kai Hui. Sarah Umaira binti Saleh. Adam Anaki bin Suhaimi. Big Min Bernice. No Shuhaika binti Hauhat. Nur Safia binti A. Rahman. Nur Masia binti Ahmad Sukri. To Yu En. Muhammad Shah Rizal bin Ramli. Sean Chan. Ong Yu Ting. Wang Yi Hui, Ruvashini Logeswara Rao, Nor Shafinas Binti Alamin, Maria Fatlina Binti Hussein, Kirtana, daughter of Ramesh Kumar, En Shi En.
So Jin Yi, Meleni. Jyotika, daughter of Balaji. Chong Tian Xiang, Elton. Tan Avril. Muhammad Irfan Bin Hussein. K. Jia Hong. Karunisha Binti Nor Azmi. Shanice Lao Eng Ching. Ao Jun Hui Rufina. Era Shazlin Bin Muhammad Faisal. S. Gaitri. Ko Hui En. Zen Ong Yen Kai Rebecca Yo Hui Chi Tan Sing Rong Nor Nazira Binti Rahma Ishahira Binti Muhammad Kamarudin Aloysius T. Kia Lok. Tanya Sri Clifton. Fatin Najiha Binti Muhammad Omar. We Hui Hao Isaac. Oi Su Jin Sim Le Xuan Lian Te Wei Ling Lin Lai Yue Shuang Emily Nor Shafika binti Muhammad Rusli. Arif Fami bin Hyrule Azmi. Nyo Jia Eng Miko. Dini Faika bin Ismanto. Nor Alisha binti Mo Abdullah. Nor Sarah Akila binti Shahrul. Dina Inshira binti Ismail. Nor Ariel Adriani binti Ram Raimi. Lim Ming Jie. Juni Damia binti Muhammad Rizal. There is Lee E. Kang. P. Shriya. Xavier Chum Ming Fong. Muhammad. Azek Zulfika Nurin Sabrina Binti Abdul Hamid Tam Zhe Yu Tiong Shan Chi Christy Aisha binti Mokhtar Lubis. Muhammad Hijazi bin Muhammad Y.
Lou Kaylin, Keller Casablanca. S. Tejaswini. Suganya, daughter of Ghanisan. Pavitra, daughter of Natarajan. Jeffrey Lai Jun Jie. Ilya Darwisha Binti Noshidik. Nor Fatiha Diana Binti Muhammad Ritwan. Ri Jia Chi Jolin. Liu Yo Zhi Chen. Nor Idayu Binti Ismail. Nina Atrina Binti Zaini. Randall Wong Feng Sheng. Omarul Farouk Ibnu Muhammad Ali. Lo Javier. Li Zhi Ming. To Jia Hao. Sasmita Shri, daughter of Saravanan. Regan Cake. Muhammad Irfan bin Abdul Salim. Lim Sing E. Jacqueline. Pei Xiu Chi. Lucius Wong Kang Yu. Thank you, Ms. Tam. This concludes the presentation of the graduates for the class of December 2022 from the School of Business and Services for this session. Let us applaud for the graduates for their academic achievements. Today, five graduates from the School of Business and Services will receive the Outstanding Graduate Award for emerging as the top student in their respective courses. We would like to invite Mr. Suresh Natarajan, Principal, ITE College Central, on stage to present the award to these outstanding graduates. Mr. Suresh, please. <laughs> For outstanding performance in NITEC in Business Administration, Lingesh, son of Sachin Vanatham. For outstanding performance in NITEC in Business Services, Celeste Lim Tong Eun. Ng Teng Xian. Lim En Ru Glenda. Ng 
Alicia Tung Tia Shen. The outstanding graduates will take a group photo with Mr. Suresh. Congratulations to all our outstanding graduates. Thank you, Mr. Suresh, and please remain on stage. Next, we are presenting the Top Graduate Award for the School of Business and Services for the class of December 2022. We would like to invite guest of honour, Mr. Chalapa Panika, President of Rotary Club of Singapore North, on stage to present the award. Mr. Panika, please. Please put your hands together for the top graduate of School of Business and Services, Lingesh, son of Sachivanatham. We would also like to invite Mr. Lim Wei Ping the class advisor of Lingesh to please come on stage for a group photo. Thank you, Mr. Suresh and Mr. Panika. And our heartiest congratulations to Lingesh. Now, Lingesh will deliver his valedictorian speech for the class of December Wow, I never imagined I'd be standing here. A year ago, a good friend of mine, Javed, was giving his valedictorian speech. His success inspired me. Although I'd never dreamed of being here, but here I am, one year later. Mr. Suresh Natarajan, Principal of ITE College Central, Mr. Chalapa Panikar, President of Rotary Club of Singapore North, distinguished guests, Lecturers, ladies and gen gentlemen, a very good morning to all. I'm very honoured to be standing before you. And today, I'll be sharing my IT journey and the lessons that I've learned along the way. I still remember when I first started school. As an introvert, I found it difficult to mingle with others, and especially during orientation. However, I've learned the importance of adaptability we will all have different paths in life. Some will continue their education, some will serve NS, and some will join the workforce. We cannot predict the future, but one thing we can change is our mindset towards adaptability. How? Simply by being proactive. Never wait for things to happen. You are the one who has to initiate the first step in blending in with the culture, while maintaining the principles that we hold dear. Over the past two years, I've came to understand that there are more important things than just my studies and personal goals. I was too focused on these two things and didn't fully engage with my peers. However, recently after finishing our final exams and assessments, as a class, we decided to stay at a resort. I had one of the most beautiful and memorable experiences. Through this experience, I've learned the importance of enjoying the process of learning. When you take pleasure in the journey, you're more likely to have a love for the learning. 
So I encourage you to find that something that you enjoy and make it part of your learning journey. This will not only make your learning experience more enjoyable, but it also sets as a foundation for lifetime learning and personal growth. A very big shout out to my class BKK. I'll miss the times we spend together. The constant nagging from our lecturers to be on time, to cut your hair, and yes, you know who you are. To focus during lessons and not fall asleep. These are the moments that I will cherish and miss. You guys are the best, and I hope to continue this friendship for a long term. As Ferris Buller once said, life moves pretty fast. And if you don't stop and look around once in a while, you could miss it. So grab every opportunity possible and make the best out of it. Last year, I had the opportunity to go to Cambodia for a community service project. It was a life-changing experience. It made me realize how fortunate I am. One of the students, Tao Riap, said this to me. I wish I was a Singaporean. At that moment, it made me realize how fortunate I am. And how many times have I complained that the aircon temperature in classroom is too cold or not cold enough, while classes in Cambodia don't even have proper fans or lighting. There were many students who wanted an education, but couldn't afford it. So they stand outside the classroom and listen in to the lecturers as they teach. We may not have everything we want in life, but it's important to appreciate what we have. Let's be thankful for those people in our life who have made us be where we are today. So, I thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, it is okay to fail. With the Rotary Club, I participated in the World Speech Day competition. I worked really hard for it, and Mr. Zaki trained us for this competition. Many times we ended late at night, and despite putting a great deal of effort, I stumbled. I stumbled my speech and didn't win. And I felt demoralized. And that's when Mr. Zaki reminded me that failure is an essential part of lifetime growth and de development. He said, it is okay to fail as long as you have learned something from it. At that moment, I changed my perspective on failure. Failure is a crucial process as it helps me identify my weaknesses, pushes me further, and improve my self-being. Without failure, we would never know our true potential and would be stuck in a cycle of mediocrity. Graduates, we are all able to sit here with the support of our parents, lecturers, and friends. So I would like to thank my parents, Daddy, Mummy. Thank you so much for believing in me and being there for me. I know I've not said this enough, but I love you. I would like to appreciate <clears throat> I would like to thank our lecturers as well, because for the first time in my life, I've been treated like an adult. They would often have a meal with me, exercise together, and just simply hang out, which allowed me to actively learn from them. It is our lecturers that we owe a huge thank you to. And I'm very lucky to have Mr. Lim Wei Ping as my class advisor. Mr. Lim is more than just a CA, and a lecturer. He's a friend. He's a friend who truly 
cares and always uh, encourages us to be our fullest potential. He's willing to spend countless hours in conversations with us, discussing ways to improve ourselves and achieve our goals. He's the first person to recognize my strength. He said, Lingesh, you may not be the smartest, but you're definitely one of the most hardworking students. He made me realize the formula of success is through hard work and discipline, and that nothing is actually impossible. I'm incredibly grateful for his guidance and support. I'm confident that his mentorship will help me achieve great things in future. Mr. Lim, you didn't prepare me just for academics, you prepared me for life. And and you have indeed changed me for the better, and I thank you from my bottom of my heart. To my classmates, Bunjing, Yekai, and Jacob, thank you for trusting me and helping me during those difficult times, both in my school life and personal life. You guys are the best. You made my journey here an enjoyable one. As we leave this chapter of our life and embark on new journeys, let us remember that true measure of success is not the destination, but the journey. Let us hold on to the memories, the friendships, and lessons that we have learned here. Use them to make the world a better place. To class of 2022, let us go forth, chase our dreams, make a difference in our lives because we are the one who shape our future. It is now time to show IT, show Singapore, show the world what we IT students are capable of. So I'd like to leave you with a quote by Eleanor Roosevelt. The future belongs to those who believe in the beauty of their dreams. So, do you believe in the beauty of your dream? If so, the future is yours. Thank you. Thank you, Lingesh, and congratulations to all graduates. To conclude this morning's session, College Central's very own Malay dance team, Tra Irat, will be performing an elegant item for you. Please sit back and enjoy.
Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for joining us in celebrating the success of our graduates. We have prepared some refreshments for you outside this auditorium. Please remain seated as our guest of honour, invited guests and the college academic leaders take their leave. Graduates, you may proceed to return your graduation gowns with a rental receipt at Classroom K424 outside the auditorium. Once again, congratulations and all the best to you. We wish you a very pleasant day ahead. Goodbye. Thank <laughs> you. 